I'm going to show you how to easily pack everything into the case here. All right, so I got two Canon GL2s and all the accessories, extra lenses, remotes, everything's got to be portable, secured, cables, and everything. So we open up the box, you can see the egg foam on the top. You can take the top right off, secure that off to the side. And as you can see, I've got the foam already carved out for everything that we need in here. Uh, first thing I do, I take the remotes. Uh, two AA batteries are not included um, in this auction, uh, but there's a little cubby here for the remotes. It goes right down in there, as you can see. So easy for those to store. I also have the lenses, which I made, which can fit right there. If you like to use a wide angle lens, that's perfect. Uh, then, the power packs, you gotta have the battery supply power pack. I got a cubby for those, so both of them fit on top of each other right there. Uh, I also have extra batteries, the large battery packs uh, that last, you know, like five, six hours. They last a very long time, uh, maybe longer. Uh, and then I got a small battery here just as an extra backup for the cubby for that there, right there. Uh, most importantly for the battery packs, you need the connector cables, not just to charge the batteries, uh, but you got the cable that plugs it into the wall that goes into here. I got a cubby down here for those. So we can put both. There's one for each camera. So there's two that go in there. One, two. And then there's two of these as well. This fits onto the back of the camera and connects to the power supply. So you don't have to use the battery pack. You got one for each camera there. Huge value. And then you have a TV connection. Only have one TV connection to go from the back of the camera to your TV. Uh, if you want to go a live feed, right direct there. Um, I also have two of the Firewire cables. So if you're hooking up to um, a Mac or if you have a multi connection where you're doing two cameras, I have one for each camera. Nice long cables uh, so you can get uh, to the feed. Uh, have these straps that came with the cameras, both of them there. Um, if you want to keep them in the, in the cameras, you can, obviously. I don't really have a place to go, but these are just extras. So I can stock them in the back here on top with your uh, cable so they don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to throw in this little cable here. This is for the other Firewire feed if you're going to the back of... Uh, the uh, I think I've heard it before. 34 port or something. I don't remember the name of the port. Jack like, different jack. This one's for the Mac, commonly used. So much more. Or whatever they call it. Oh, right, but I'm gonna include that cable there. And then most importantly, the cameras. Cameras get positioned down in here. Don't use the battery on the back of the camera um, when you're storing it. All right, store, and then that goes down in there. And then this one nicely fits down in here. So. Everything stocked in there nice and easily secure. I also have these two rubber guards, one rubber eye guard here. If you like to use something like that, you can replace the uh, this eye piece with that one. And uh, I also have this extra round uh, guard for lens guard uh, that you can put on the front of the camera. Uh, this one already has a square one on it, but if you want to put the round one on it, you can put a round one on as well. Then, of course, this will come in handy. Manual fits right in the box as well. I'm going to show you how easily, single-handedly, put the lid back on. There we go. Thanks for watching folks and happy bidding.